This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon and today we're continuing on from our delightful Stoicism conversations. Um, I'm still in January in The Daily Stoic, so for those of you that don't know, The Daily Stoic written by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. Um, and if you're curious on Stoicism, either A, Google it and YouTube it yourself or jump on the Mood Prep online group, which I've put a little video on there um, yesterday, which is an easy sort of... Um, place to start to understand Stoicism and Stoic philosophy. Either way, today I'm going to read through a quote by Epictetus uh, and then Ryan Holiday's breakdown of that and then I'll give you my own thoughts on that as well. So, here we go. Today is generally this, or it's not today, but in the Daily Stoic, it's generally the 17th and it's Reboot the Real Work. I am your teacher and you are learning in my school. My aim is to bring you to completion, unhindered, free from compulsive behavior, unrestrained, without shame, free, flourishing, and happy, looking to God in things great and small. Your aim is to learn and diligently practice all these things. Why then don't you complete the work? If you have the right aim, and I have both the right aim and right preparation, what is missing? The work is quite feasible and is the only thing in our power. Let go of the past. We must only begin. Believe me, and you will see. Epictetus, yet another great stoic scholar. And then Ryan comes down, he oh, doesn't come down, but he breaks it down, should I say. Um, do you remember in school or early in your life being afraid to try something because you feared you might fail at it? Most teenagers choose to fool around rather than exert themselves. Half-hearted, lazy, effort gives them a ready-made excuse. It doesn't matter, I wasn't even trying. As we get older, failure is not so inconsequential anymore. What's at stake is not some arbitrary grade or... You know, some sort of basic sports trophy, but the quality of your life and your ability to deal with the world around you. Don't let that intimidate you though. You have the best teachers in the world, the wisest philosophers who ever lived, and not only are you capable, the professor is asking for something very, very simple. Just begin the work, the rest follows. So, really straightforward, um, I suppose, passage today, really. I think it's something that you know, looking at it in the sense of re reboot the real work. And I know this is something that I have previously got stuck on. I've done all the thinking. I've done all like, you know, problem solving with it. I've done all this research on it. I've done all of it. And I just actually haven't done any fucking work on it. Right? I haven't, haven't started doing the actual work. And it's like, you've got the diet, you've got the exercise program. Now it's time to do the work what's stopping you right and this is a, this this for most people is in other areas of life and we've seen it in so many areas of our lives um we'd almost be lying if we said we didn't have an area in our life we do it and sometimes we're like no 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 i work my ass off i study or i do this it's like yeah but is there possibly something that you know you really genuinely want to do and you're avoiding it by doing the work you're doing now i mean like really start to look inside and pull this apart for yourself so the things that i found really interesting about this was in his uh, in Epictetus' quote where he goes, firstly, let go of the past. It's like, he goes, let go of the past, we must only begin, believe me and you will see, right? Let's, let's, let's have a look at that for a second. Let go of the past. It's like, how many of us are holding on to our past? And I said this quote, if not in a podcast, I said it in a, um, a video just the other day. It's like, one of the last things we'll let go of is our suffering. It's like, our suffering from the past, it's like in order to move on, we have to be able to learn and to know, we have to see it and be able to let go of it. Like acknowledge the suffering, acknowledge the past, know it served a purpose. But if you truly want to step into a new stage in your life, you cannot bring the old baggage. And so that's the whole thing about letting go of the past. Your past does not dictate your future unless you want it to. Now he goes, we must only begin. Let's, let's have a look at that. We must only begin. What does that mean? It's like, well, every fucking day when you get up, begin, start. Don't delay. Don't delay the start. Don't think of all the other things you have to do. Just start. We must only begin. Begin. Believe me and you will see. And it's one of the things that's like, I don't believe it. I'm not sure I can do it. I have all these doubts, you know. It's, it gets to a point where it's like, but you don't know. 
you do not know until you genuinely move through it and give it a try until you actually commit to it right it's not even trying it's going past that it's committing to it your whole being and then you will truly know and it's repetition i mean you you know everything about this right but it's a matter of going how often do we talk ourselves out of it and it's just like what is that conversation does that conversation say why don't you give it a try and see how you go i had this conversation with someone just the other day it's like yep look You've done the work. You've done the excavating on yourself. You've done that work. Now it's time to do the practical work. Now it's time to do the physical work. Now it's time to sell your product, sell your service. Now it's time to tell your story genuinely and make some change. It's time to begin, right? Sure, when you plant a seed or a tree, Rallo, and you plant a tree, it's going to go down and then it'll come up. And it has to. Maybe that's where you're at. Maybe you've gone in, you've done the work there. Maybe it's now time to do the work on top of that. You know what I'm talking about. He goes on then to say, The other thing Ryan says is that you have the best teachers in the world, the wisest philosophers who ever lived. And the other thing we have to understand is that we live in fucking exponentially amazing times. I mean, truly amazing, amazing times. We, we literally have access to, to so much content of, like, of genuine educational like life transformational content that we could never even li listen to it all listen to it all or watch it all or read it all it's like you have everything at your disposal apart from a particular mindset that could literally change your life and then not even just change yours this is something that we have to understand is that when we change our life we don't just change our life i get to change my kids life i get to change their kids life right so when someone comes in and they're like i really want to lose weight i know that i don't just have a have, have an opportunity to help them lose weight so i can take a before and after i have an opportunity to impact this person's fucking grandchild and that's what you should be doing that's how you should be seeing it it's like it goes significantly deeper when we work on ourselves than just ourselves it changes generations and when we see that when we understand that and when we know that we have the best teachers at our disposal all we need to do is look for them and ask for help we get to change a fucking generation and that my friends is beautiful that means everything and that is the, the only reason you need the only to go out there and be able to make a change for yourself because it's no longer for yourself it's the people who haven't even walked this earth yet so the, in, to finish it off from that passage it's it's like just begin it's the art of the start right when all is said and done more is said and less is done and don't be that person if you stay where you are you stay a fool i'm a fool today to the person i am tomorrow remember that okay get out there it's time to start if you want to know the art of the start it's literally starting right you can sit there and you can you can talk about it you can you can you know put strategy and tactics together for as long as you want but the person that starts will will be ahead so get to it team thank you very much if you found this very beneficial i would love it if you share it with a friend who you think would also find it beneficial otherwise as always jump online jump on facebook search moon prep online it should be in the comments of this post as well on, on podbean at least uh, maybe not itunes but otherwise you should be able to find the group from there um, I'd love it if you would find me on Instagram at ddnix and on YouTube under Dave Nixon. Otherwise, team, until next time, peace and pizza, kick today in the dick, and slay the dragon. I'll see you soon. To be everything at once, be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned.